Hi friends, welcome back. In the last session, we have discussed how to perform CRUD operations in ASP.NET Core by using repository pattern and unit of work. This is the final output of that session. So whenever user clicks on add new product, it will redirect to create view. User can create new product. Here we need to implement few things. Whenever user clicks on create, it will go to the server side and it's validating model state is not valid so it's redirecting back to the view i'll continue here so here it is showing the validations so we need to validate these from client side also instead of sending the request to server so we can validate from client side now we can implement those things I'll go to the back to list even for the edit also I'll go to the edit here I'll remove the quantity I'll click on update it should validate from the client side instead of sending the request to server side I'll click on update it's hitting to server so model state is invalid then it goes back to the view and it will show the a message as this is a mandatory field so instead of sending the request to server we can validate these controls from the client side so we will implement those changes now i'll close this i'll stop the application go to the solution explorer and go to views shared folder so we have the client side validation scripts here if you open this partial view inside this we have client side validation scripts so these are all the scripts are responsible to the validate controls from the client side so what we can do we can go to create view here after the div here i'll call section I need to call scripts here here I can call my partial view render partial sync here we need to pass the partial view name let me copy this partial view name the same thing we can I'll stop the application same section I can implement in the edit view also now we will run the application in debug mode I will go to the product controller here I am going to create new product I will create one new product I will give the price click on create it is coming to product controller continue product has been created now I'll create another product here this time I'm not going to give any values without giving any details I will try to submit the request click on create so it's validating so this time it's not hitting our controller that means our client side validations are working correctly likewise we can test the edit functionality also this time I'll try to update this product edit here I am removing the quantity I'll click on update so the quantity field is required so without going to controller that means our server controller so it's validating from the client side so this will give the better performance instead of sending request every time to the server side so we can validate all our controls from the client side now I'll give the 
required values i'll click on update this time it's hitting to our controller and here we can validate the data model state is valid and it's going to update the product continue the product has been updated with the latest details which we provided so like this we can implement the client side validations in asp.net core applications that's it for today if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching